Well, welcome to Photo Tips from the Field. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Joel Kleiner, and we're in Africa, Kenya, Africa. And one of the things that I really enjoy about traveling with folks uh, such as Joel that comes on, on, our, on our photo tours is learning about some of the new techniques and actually little uh, photographic uh, tools that can help make your life more simple and uh, keep your gear clean in this situation. And, and Joel has shown me a, a new device that is uh, very interesting. It's a lens cap basically for the large lenses. This is a Nikon 2-400 to and one of the things that's always been difficult is they include a great big boot that goes on the, on the uh, front of these lenses. And what Joel showed me is, is maybe you can explain this a little bit Joel, but it's a, it's a product that he recently just came across. It's an aftermarket lens cap. I bought it at Adorama Camera in New York City and it eliminates the boot since you can't put a filter on this lens this cap just goes on with friction sits on real tight you turn it it gets a little tighter and it's um, a nice addition instead of using the boot looks good yeah I mean you know this is this is a great ingenious um, little little device that you know for years I've been trying to keep my lenses clean here in Africa it's difficult to do lots of dust and um, and this is a this is you know always pulling that big boot off is 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 constantly an issue. This is a nice way to to do it. So yeah, that's I can't I can't uh, wait to get back and order a couple of these. I'm hoping that they make them for the larger lenses. I'm Five hundred and six hundred. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just guessing that they probably did. So uh, yeah, it will be a very nice addition to keeping lenses clean in the field. Then the other thing I wanted to discuss was uh, Joel's shooting a D7000. Uh, this happens to be the body that I shoot as well. I've got two of these as my main bodies. Great little cameras, tremendous amount of bang for the buck. Um, can't tell you how well these cameras work for as little money as they cost. The one downside is that the, the buffers on these cameras are pretty small. small. They only hold as many as 10 frames in the RAW mode. And so, uh, just before I came over, I was able to get a hold of some of the new uh, SanDisk Extreme uh, Pro cards. Right. And you're using those as well. And that's um, this little card here. Uh, it's it, the, the key to this is that it writes at 96 megabits per second as opposed to what I was using in the past, which was 45 megabits per second. And that was one of the issues that I had with the camera. The buffer is the little reservoir that um, the pictures go from the chip to the reservoir, then the reservoir dumps them onto the chip. And if that's not, if that's not moving fast enough, you're sitting there waiting for, for your, your pictures to go to the chip. And by having 96 megabits per second, it eliminates that holdup and the, the bottleneck of getting those pictures over to your card. And I haven't had, it's changed the, it's changed the dynamics of this camera completely. I, w I had numerous times where I would shoot multiple frames, and I know you like to shoot. You're you're a, you're a heavy-handed shooter, which is you know always positive in, in getting the precise moment. Um, and you know if you if you if you've got if you've got lots of frames going and they can't get off the buffer, you end up waiting. So right. have you had any? Have you had any? Uh, any? Not any? at all. Not at all. It's it's a, it, the cards write really really fast, and uh, they're an incredible tool to use when you're shooting with a. Uh, camera of this type yeah yeah I, I it's changed this camera dramatically for me you know the one downside that I felt about it was the buffer size and that I just put up with some of that uh, for the time being waiting to see what Nikon was going to do with some of their more professional models and um, this new card has almost eliminated I, I haven't run into any situation where I've overshot the buffer uh, so it's a it's a great new um, little piece of equipment that that ties in with your our overall system that helps us get you know interesting pictures which we've had some pretty good opportunities it really we had, we it had really some, we've got some uh, a photographed a crown crane this morning hatching hatching uh, from an egg from literally start to finish and yesterday what did you guys what did you guys see yesterday we saw the crown crane with the two uh, the two chicks and the, the egg was there but un unhatched yeah it was fun it yeah, was I, nice. I love cranes and yeah. uh, really a great time of the year to be here we've got a lot of a lot of um, a lot of wildlife and a lot of wildlife. Had a, had a lot of fun yeah. so thanks for sharing that with me Joel My pleasure. Um, as, as Joel mentioned he got this at Adorama I'm not sure I'm guessing there's going to be other other places that sell it but uh, Adorama is a, a good store to work with as well I know Joel's worked with them a lot so um, take a look and uh, I'm going to be getting a, getting some of these when I get back thanks very much My appreciate pleasure. it Thank okay you.